and I'm blowing on this bad wood. Bad road, country strong, about to dab on the road. Papa was a rolling stone, so I made it on my own. Gun to a pistol, smoking outlaw. Kush talking plenty in the southern bells. Had that little heart broken. I'm a blue collar badass mother. Never been to coward, show as hell, ain't a sucker. My hands stay dirty, clean money that I'm earning all work. When it's dark, back to it in the morning. Ooh. Family first, ain't no other way I see it. Bust a 12 hour work day, you wake up and repeat it. What's up, everybody? You tuned in. Another episode of Off the Yard. I'm Big Lance. What's up, Gladiator Gang? Two L's in a bulletproof R, baby. We in here. Suck free gang in the house. So, as you can see, I'm shooting this video outside. Because what I'm going to talk about tonight, it goes above and beyond the realms of sick, savage, and I got kids, man. I don't want them to hear this shit. The penitentiary is filled with every type of individual. The penitentiary is filled with predators and prey. The penitentiary is a place of manipulation, of assault, in so many forms. When you're on a level three, four, five yard, those are the worst of the worst. Those are killers. Those are not DUI guys. Those are guys who are never going home. There's men that love to prey on people. They live for it. They thrive off of other people's misery and thrive off of preying on people who are weaker. Among those groups of people are the transgender community. Now you have certain degrees of homosexuality and, 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 and gay people in prison. You have gay people who are undercover. You have gay people who are flamboyant and mouthy. You have gay people that'll stab the fuck out you just as soon as look at you. But here in the last 10, 15 years, you've had a new group. The transgender community. These are guys that have, have breasts, ass implants, cheek implants. They look like women. Sort of. Kind of. Eh, not really. Because when the, the hormone shit wears off and they got a beard with tits, it looks weird. In my opinion. But to some, it doesn't matter. There was an individual um, when I was at uh, Southampton years ago, years ago, who was like on the cusp of transgender. This is before it was really like big, you know, as far as popular. This was years ago. Um, but he had long hair, wore makeup, shaved all the hair on his body, talked like a woman, acted like a woman, walked around like a woman. But just like certain types of women, he was very promiscuous. You know, when you're the only motherfucker in a pod that looks like a female, you kind of have your pick of the litter. But that gets you in some shit because you fuck with the right one to make his ass fall in love with you. You could really be in a world of hurt. There is a fine line between, you know, playing the field and playing somebody let's get to it the name is Cherry 
great name. I've seen Strawberry, Cherry. I mean, it's a slew of names that they've had. Was basically living with this guy in the cell. I mean, they were playing house. Guy was a gang leader. Had been one for a long time. He was a killer. He was savage. Worked out all the time. Real big dude. Just never was going home and wanted to live with a boy. Boy played his part. Did what he was supposed to do. The guy had a job. The guy that was with the boy had a job. So he'd be gone during the day. Well, during the day, that's when all the wreck happens. That's when we're outside. That's when moves are made. That's when the hustle starts. And that's when people are congregating. Cherry was no different. See Cherry out in the yard, prancing around like Peter Pan. He thought he was slick. Thought he was slick. And started seeing another guy in another building. So while his little boyfriend was at work, he's sliding over to another building and messing with this other dude, coming back, playing housewife, with homeboy, kissing him on the mouth and shit. Nasty stuff. It's only a matter of time, man, for somebody song. I caught wind of it. And as I watched it unfold, man, I was like, is he crazy? I'll never forget the day that man found out what Cherry had been up to. When I saw him, he had tears in his eyes, like he had lost his wife. Broken hearted, man, in love with this boy. But there was also a different look in his eyes. cold look that look when you, you see unless you've seen a man who really has nothing to lose who really is with the shit and about that life I can't describe the, the, the there's no word for that look but you know the look you know that gleam in their eye that says what what they're about to do The incident that happened, happened in the cell. And the only way in, that I saw it was because my cell was directly across from me. I could literally see in the door. The man came back from work early one day, just to surprise Cherry. Catch him. But when he came back through the uni, he had three of his buddies. All bad. All bad. When Cherry came prancing down his tear, it was like slow motion, Jack. I was watching him walk into a lion's den. A cell that was full of rage and thoughts of revenge. Broken hearted shit. It was, it was fucked up. The man stood back, stood to the back like this to his cell, staring at the door. And when he heard the slider pop, I could see him clinch. I could see his fist tighten. His buddies were standing. When you walk into a cell, there's two walls. One buddy was on this side. One buddy was on the other side. Cherry walked right through the door. A medium. Boom. Grabbed up. One up top. One down low. Immediately. Boom. To the ground. A sock balled up was immediately stuffed into his mouth. 
hard, probably deep, couldn't get it out. I froze. I stood there frozen, knowing I should not watch this, knowing this was getting ready to be fucked up, knowing that I would never forget what I was about to see and witness. But I couldn't stop. I could not stop watching. And I wish I had. <laughs> he stripped that young man of his clothes. Tied his wrist and hand to the bunk. On his belly. His ass in the air. Three guys in the cell, one out the cell, stand and watch. I thought to myself, they're going to rape him. No. When his buddies in him had come to the uh, unit, they had gone over to the cleaning closet, to the mop closet, as we call it. Doors open. They grabbed the mop, which always has a wooden handle. And it snapped it with their knee, making it a sharp utensil of torture, savage mutilation and death. They shoved that broomstick up that boy's rectum over and over and over, ripping his insides apart. It was this long, guys, and that man was going in fucking knuckle deep every time. And there was not a goddamn thing that boy could do about it but lay there and take it. I'm sure he felt his stomach being ripped apart, his ribs, his liver, his spleen, everything vital. Being gone up in, stabbed, and then pulled out of his ass. Basically disemboweled. And still I froze. Standing there, just in complete shock. The young boy lay there, bloody, mutilated, whimpering. His body ripped apart inside and out. <laughs> the final straw. They had taken a light bulb uh, out of one of the officers in that drawers up at the front, and they had gotten a light bulb. And as the boy lay there, as Cherry lay there, probably in just complete utter shock and the body just dying, using his own blood as a lubricant, they took that light bulb and inserted it directly into his rectum and began to stomp his asshole until it shattered inside of his rectum. That was the end of Cherry. People think that Prison is just working out, eating soups, playing cards. Uh, it's a lot more, man. Remember, you can't serve two masters. It's a Sunday night video, guys. Thank you for tuning in to Off the Yard. Sucker free gang, gladiator gang, blue collar kings, let's get ready for another week. I'm sorry if this might have shocked you. I, I didn't, you know. These are the stories that need to be told. People talk about cheek busters and all that. There's another level. You have the worst of the worst in these places. Remember that before you go putting yourself in that situation. Until next time, I'm Big Lance.
Thank you for tuning in.